Okay, stream should be go, I think. Twitch is open on your end. How do the things go? Pfft. Ads. Beep boop. I have no idea. How long Twitch ads are? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Alright, last time on twitch.tv, uh, Latula, today. Ready? Yeah. Okay. Yo, what's up? I'm Toby Radiation Fox. Y'all fuckers on the internet might know me as Radiation, but my name is Toby Fox. Uh, I'm the guy that does music for home stuff. The coolest comic on the internet with the coolest fandom. Yeah, yeah, as you can tell, I am super hip and young and ironic and a nerd. Yeah, check out the sweet tunes I'm writing. Check them all out. Here's a tune I wrote just now. This one is called... <laughs> How relevant. How new. Buy it. I'm going to go to the kitchen. Yo, I know what you're thinking. Hey, oh, Toby! I already follow you on Twitter. I already follow you on Tumblr. Yo, I don't even follow you on the MSBA forum. What more do you want? What more do you want? I'll tell you what I want. I want it all, motherfucker. I want it all. I want all the money. I want all the fun. I want all the ideas. Yeah. Yeah, are you liking the spinning? Are you liking the spinning? Let's go to Paul. Yeah, so what you want to do is sign up for my new YouTube account. Click the subscribe button or just follow it at B-O-W-M-A-N-I-S-G-O-D. That's radiation. You can see it at the bottom of the screen. Yo, and the best part of this is it can be about whatever we want it to be about. Yeah, a YouTube channel for you, motherfucker. That's why they call it YouTube. Yo, fan trolls, hilarious. Shipping, funny. Buckets, yo, I adore buckets. Yo, I can be funny and ironic at the same time. This city, who gives a fuck? It's all about me, motherfucker. Woo! Yo, remix is a classic children's shows. Yo, I'm there. Candy school bus. Yo, you wanna play a game? You wanna play a board game? Motherfucker, don't play board games. I only play Sega. I only play classic Sega. Yo, fan art? Yeah, I got some. This is one of the ancestors of some shit. What? You come in here to see some pornography? Yeah, people on YouTube will watch anything. Oh, oh, oh. So what? In conclusion, subscribe to my YouTube, subscribe to my Twitter, my Tumblr, everything you can find. I'm Toby Radiation Fox, and I am the greatest living artist known to man. Yo, what the fuck? Home circle, yo, get out. Oh, if we just, you get me in a place I can't touch. Girl, she's a game girl, the best in the world. She's a game girl, girls rule. She's a game girl, and boys drool. She's a game girl. I'm Last time I'm on Homestuck, Latula. This time, Latula. <laughs> Sorry. Welcome to being with Tula. I have no idea what of her dialogue we read. Did we beat Eddie at all? <laughs> you do. Good luck. Of course. I, I mean, I never, I, I never closed it. It's still here. It's been playing Game Girl all day. Uh. <laughs> okay, sorry. I, it's, it's muted, but still. Anyway, let's do this thing. Talk to Mina, since I don't think we read this yet. 
Yo, yo! Face dubs, my girl! Shit tools? I forgot how many rad nicknames you like to cycle through. Passing out names like Cheap Cuttlefish. You know I always thought Paycheck was kinda dope, why don't you just stick with that? Right on! I like that one too! Paycheck it is! High five, girl! Woo! No, let's not- Ow! Oh, sorry, did I hurt you? Mm, no. I meant... Wow! Uh, yeah. Like, wow, that was a radical hand slapping. Sure fucking was! Dang it, tight your back! The tightness. Well, that's cool, but... Aren't you overstating our prior relationship as something above neutral just a tad? Hashtag tadpole. Yeah, it's a stretch as a fish pun. Gonna count it though. Well, maybe. But I had a lot of time to think, both before we all ate it and after. The big white out. Red dead. Uh, 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 analogies. And I came to some mad. What the flip is this word? <laughs> And I came to some mad epiphanies about you, or us, really. I was thinking about you all wrong. Uh, for the most, for most of the time we knew each other, I was all like, "Why should there be two badass in your face girls in the group?" Sort of overkill, right? Nah, are you serious? I was kind of viewing you as a competitor and like a two-girl rat off. I was winning in my mind, of course, but see, I had it all wrong. Did you? Yeah, see, I'm the team's rad girl, whereas you're the team's bad girl. It all makes perfect sense. Doesn't that make so much sense? That is the stupidest glubbing thing to require any sort of rationalization I ever heard. Playing tools. See, Paycheck, I knew I could count on you to be justifiably cynical about my neurotic bullshit. You rule. <laughs> yup. <laughs> okay. Oh dear. Oh yeah. Oh man, I think... I have no idea. No, that was... Yeah, Porn already had that. Alright. Hi, Richard Stallman. Bro, I hear you've been uh, hassling the new kids. What is up with that? Hassling? Far from it. I merely discovered a new and far less ungrateful flock which has not yet become woefully jaded to my messages of positive social change. Uh, hashtag new followers. Reading Kankri over Gang Girls is impossible and horrible. I hate it. <laughs> you can't fool me, Kanks. You are boring that poor dude to death. You just want to make a ghost out of him so you can keep him here forever. Uh, which ain't right. You have to let that bro die of his own mad volitions. Three mistakes like us. Can you scoot away on your little wheeled toy for immature wigglers? I was in the middle of a sermon. I mean conversation. Why don't you save him some grief and give him one of your old memos on the BRBs? Say that. Smooth. <laughs> Remember those? How many sleeps did you spend trying to force us to read that trash? And fruity righteous blowhard factory? Now, I'm not saying I'm saying anything. Hi. 
Alright, look, listen, fine. <laughs> I'm sorry my smoothness levels are not up to your levels of <sighs> gathering smoothness. Safe changes. Okay, we're done here. <laughs> sure, you got it. Remember, and no, I won't be sharing my old memos with him. They were written very poorly, and my methods of argumentation were flawed and extremely childish. <laughs> uh, I've deleted most of those memories from these bubbles, so don't bother rooting around for them. Frankly, they stuck. Hey! Oh man, I am sorry. I completely forgot that stunk was an ableist slur. Please forgive my insensitivity toward your disability. Topic warning, topic warning, topic warning. Sorry, TW ableism. And chill, I was only acting offended to bug you. <laughs> no, really, it was inexcusable of me. I should have at least preceded my callous remark with a trigger warning. Trigger warning, embarrassed retractions ahead. I have no business making light of your impairment, thus failing to check my nasal privilege, and potentially bringing back painful and devastatingly triggering memories of the old cycle of revenge between you and some friends which have resulted in the loss of your olfactory sense. I have to admit, I was skeptical at first about whether that really qualified as a true disability warranting sensitivity and the promotion of awareness, but being close to you as a friend and carefully examining my privilege has really opened my eyes. Oops, that you Furism is slightly ableist to the blind. What I meant, uh, what I meant was brightened by the horizons on the nature of disability. Sorry. Uh, warnings for uh, yeah, it's a hashtag nasal privilege horizons broadness horizontal length longing. <sighs> Yeah, that's funny, because it never would have occurred to me to take it all that seriously as a handicap without you making a federal case out of it for so long on my behalf. So thanks, Cake. Uh, hashtag mad disadvantage, bro times. My pleasure. Really, it is truly amazing that you have managed to triumph over such adversity, to become a great role model for others, excellent at video games, and a totally stellar skateboarding person, all while being a girl, no less. Uh. Yeah, you got it. RMS Kangri. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, pores! You see Pater is back? And girls in the hive. I saw. Pretty rad, huh? The for life just scored a little more girl power. Oh, that's true. More real. Hey, give me five. That's... Ow. Not so hard. 
that's good. What? Come on. I thought you of all people would be psyched to get a little more representation from the ladies up uh, in. Why would that be? It's nice to see an old friend, but that's about it. Up ends, meaningless, on all levels. I think you are possibly still caricaturizing my point of view on the subject, assuming we're even talking about the same subject. This is really funny. Interesting. Very... Huh. Much the way your continued commitment to this overzealous, rad girl thing still strikes me as a caricature of the kind of female strength and empowerment you're trying to project. Say what? That's bogus. I'm this rad because I like being rad. Radness rules. I know it rules, but there's such a thing as overdoing it. Did I phonetically emphasize that Z enough? Don't you think I can come across as a series of affections designed to overcompensate for an implicit flaw with your gender? An act which rebuts what should be a straw man, with a cartoonist masquerade uh, that with every kickflip and high five screens, yes, it appears that girls can be as radical and as good at games as boys, thus lending a certain dignity to the premise at the expense of your own? Wow, wait, what? Oh man. Rad time's officially harsh. What are you talking about, girl? Mina, where'd you go? Come help me be cynical about this. Ah, help! You can pretend to misunderstand all you want, but we've talked about this before, and I know you're smarter about it than you let on. We were raised in what was a formerly matriarchal society, which has always been. Y yeah. Uh. Which has always been used as a shield to downplay clear instances of female oppression and obfuscate the relevance of gender roles, particularly where they are weighed against females. But anyone who's looked at our society more honestly can see that while, yes, it is superficially observed as a matriarchy on a fuchsia down basis, on a practical level, all the enforcement and political power governing most classes was delegated to the higher CIPs, which were generally male dominated castes. They got to control the agenda and dictate that, the social conventions, and anyone who dared to object or bring light to this could be encountered, could be countered with, Hey, matriarchy, end of discussion. Fuchsia down, matriarchy, purple down, patriarchy. Girl, please, don't tell me you're going full Vantas on me here. No, if I were getting my Vantas on, we'd only be getting warmed up, but that's really all I have to say on the matter. Phew. I just think you should be yourself more often. We already know you are strong and good at games and all that. You have nothing to prove. Yeah, you're probably right. It's kind of stressful sometimes keeping it up. Sometimes I forget to put Z's on the end of words, and I really stress out about it. Especially when I'm off my meds. You know, I always did feel better talking to you. Like I could take the edge off my rad thing and relax a little more. Then let's make it more of a habit, shall we? Hex, yes! Hey, thanks for the pep talk, Popo Marigans. That nickname. It's... It's just, just so awful. Oh, whoops. Want me to switch back to Formstar? Mary Gams will be fine. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Um. Yeah. So there's a there's one there's there is one option we haven't inspected thus far that I have politely uh, set aside for the moment. Be cankry. Be me. I... I'm not sure if that's... Ah, come on, Kankles, please. Well... Okay, I'll interrupt my imperative mono dialogue just this once. For you.
Oh no! <laughs> Finally, a being a transformant simulator. <sighs> oh, hey, Latula. I thought I heard your device grinding on various surfaces nearby. How are your athletic toy stunts going? Are you getting a lot of... a lot of air? Am I saying that right? Did you... hang... ten? No, that can't be right. You knows it, bro! You can't even touch this! I'm escaping to the side, from above, from every which way, basically! Well, I wasn't going to attempt to make any sort of physical contact with you, and even if I did, I have no doubt that you would be able to maneuver away from my grasp on your speedy little platform. Either way, I'm more than content to let you escape in any direction of your choosing, if that's your wish. Dude, just when I think you've already said the squarest thing possible, you go and say something like that! Haha, <laughs> I guess. You know, it's really nice we can talk like this. It is? Yes, I was just thinking lately about our new post scratch friends, particularly the young Vandas and Pyro iterations on their team, and how they're pretty similar to us, but also really different. Yeah, Lil Me's blind. Did you even know that? Have you seen a little dragon suit? Ah, so cute! Yes, but that's not really what I'm talking about. She and Karkat have a different relationship from the one we have. Theirs is much more turbulent, which is fueled presumably by romantic tension. I'm picking up on some major vacillation vibes from their situation. It's kind of unfortunate, but it makes me grateful we never got to that point. Hell yeah! Who needs that? I'm sure it's mostly due to the fact that we've stayed entirely away from the Stingbug's nest of romantic entanglement. Which, of course, is related to my oath of the celibacy, which, as you know, is a, a, just a personal choice, one which, for some reason, my post scratch adult self will eventually, uh, self eventually strayed from with Mewen, of all people? But that's neither here nor there. Seriously? I mean, she's nice, but really? <laughs> you and Mew still cracks me up. <laughs> yeah. Yes. But regardless, what I'm saying is, it's great we stayed away from that. It's helped me appreciate you as a friend, and admire y all your good qualities. Platonically, of course. You're right, it's been pretty rad when you put it that way. Like how you never f caught onto the usual roles of your cast, as an aqua. Not even the more well-intended social conventions of your privileged aristocratic bloodline. You never looked down on anybody, or saw it as your civil duty to take care for, or improve, the warmer classes, falling prey to unfortunate tendencies involving Cerulean Savior Complex, or the Blue Blood's Burden, trigger warning on that obviously, which sadly became all inseparable from the fabric of the sexual order, with each class conditioned to view these, uh, those below it as the same way. The obstacles to raising awareness were almost insurmountable, but unlike the cooler hues on our team more privileged than you, like your circuits, your zags, your emporas, I never got the sense that you put the slightest bit of stock in any of that, and I think that's pretty amazing. As Cerulean Saviors, Teal Templars, Violet Valiants, Purple Paladins. Uh, yeah, that's just Trey. Why would I bother with any of that? I mean, I'll have low bloods learn stunts and cheat codes if they want, but that's it. Right, and I'm just saying, if my head was ever clouded by romantic feelings for you, I probably wouldn't be able to appreciate that about you. Just like I wouldn't be able to appreciate the fairly cool Z's you put at the end of many words, or say things loudly and with enthusiasm, even if it's not particularly warranted. It rarely is. <laughs> yeah, woo! Or the way your hair flows in the wind when you scoot over some sort of obstacle on your device really fast. Or the way you make this funny little noise as you connect with one of your copious high fives, which can only be heard over the loud slap if you listen really closely. Um, yeah, I noticed some stuff like that about you 
too, I guess? <laughs> or the way you have always shown kindness to people who needed help, without making them feel tragic or helpless for accepting it. Or the way you still manage to look stylish even without your cool shades, or sometimes when they're prepped up on your head just in front of your horns. If you remember that time me you should be sorry thank you <sighs> or I don't know if you remember that time Mina baked everybody a cake it was the first sleep anniversary of entering the game one of the rare moments of solidarity and good cheer among our entire team at once everyone was raving about how good the fresh baked cake smelled so you took a big sniff I guess forgetting for a moment you couldn't smell then you quickly caught yourself and played it cool, making sure no one noticed, which no one did. But I noticed, and I just thought that was kind of endearing. <sighs> anyway, I think all that would have been completely lost on me if we didn't have this strong platonic bond. I just thought I'd say that. Guess I'll get going now. See you around, Latula. Every aspect of Act 6 Intermission 3 is good. Not one as it's just it's yeah. All of it. In the future, I'll thank you not to embarrass me in front of my new disciples. Friends, I mean friends. Wait, what did I say? Definitely meant friends. I really don't need you policing my awareness-raising rhetoric. You are not my human mother. Weird human familial structures. What does that even mean? You would understand if you spent time actually researching other cultures to gain a more comprehensive foundational perspective on our systemic problems instead of meddling in other people's enlightening and enormous conversations. I mean, enormous and pro uh, progressive virtue. Oh no, um, if, mm, it's a very nice quirk indeed. Mm. Hey, uh, so, um, I've observationified that, okay. It's it's lightning round time. Um, the word quirk, you always spell like quark, and it's really curious to me. Is that intentional or? <laughs> yeah, t you. You did that time. You did it in the. You did it in the in your uh, in your post about uh, programming with scheme, which yeah. So uh, <laughs> you're good. <laughs> yeah. I couldn't spell mischievous forever. It sounded it I always pronounce it like mischievous, so yeah. 
I didn't gather that it was mischievous and not mischievous. But <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, you would understand if you spent more time researching other cultures to gain a more comprehensive foundational perspective on our systemic problems instead of meddling in other people's enlightening and enormous conversations. I mean, enormous and progressive virtue. All these sleeps and you still act like a, such a wiggler sometimes. Hey, is that... is that grub sauce on your face? What? No. Yes, it is. You have a big smudge of sauce right there. You're a mess, Canny. Come here. No! No, stop! Don't touch me! I get it! See? It's fine! Don't wipe it off with your sleeve! Oh my god! I just washed that for you! Hashtag ghost laundry! I don't care. I didn't ask you to wash my sweater. I keep telling you I have no interest in before in possessions. Or Alternian. Or Earthly. We aren't on before us anymore. I worked hard on that sweater, and I'm not going to stand by while you encrust it in grub sauce. I was perfectly happy without the sweater. To be honest, I'm less than thrilled with how it obscures my pants line. You can't even see my nice belt. TRP.
<laughs> okay. <sighs> Thanks. <laughs> Alright, sorry for the dreadfully lengthy intermission. <laughs> <sighs> you make me sigh so much, I'm almost left Silas. Why are you always so contrary with me? To be honest, I think your need to rebel against whatever I suggest is more what drives your dismissal of my views more than anything about the views themselves. Pfft, dang. <laughs> I don't dismiss your views. It's like a real church. I respect them. I have told you this. I think the role of gender in Beforean society is probably a really fascinating uh, and advanced subject. Yeah. Just random stuff. I think the role of gender in Beforean society is probably a really fascinating and advanced subject to explore. See, you and I can appreciate the subject, of course. I just don't think anyone is ready for that yet. There are so many other hurdles to overcome first. Hurdles. Canny, you should seriously stop overthinking this stuff. Even I don't know what you're talking about most of the time. Look, I'm just saying, it's a huge risk trying to open that can of dirt noodles, trying to educate people on that subject on top of everything else. I just don't want to distract from all the more glaring issues that desperately need the full attention of our people if we are going to make any progress as a civilization. Progress as a civilization? Kankri, our people are extinct and you're worried about distracting from the more glaring issues? Everyone is dead! Porim, I'm very disappointed to hear you say that. That was an extremely corporal normative remark. Corporal normativity, mortality privilege, soul shame. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yo! Whoa, Mina. I didn't see you come in. You should have come say hello. Oh. Yeah, I didn't want to bother you and shout at you over there. Or talk to you or listen to or be around you. It would have been alright. Karkat and I were only a few hours from wrapping up our first of many, what I'm assuming... Karkat and I were only a few hours from wrapping up our first of what I'm presuming will be many, many sessions together. So many. You and I have so much to discuss. I've really crystallized some problems. Eternity has really helped me make some progress on issues that matter to everybody, even groups of people who don't technically exist. I've had a lot of time to think about that and about us. Our team, I mean, and the mistakes we've made, which were probably blessings in disguise. I know we had our differences, with you claiming the role as a, sort of our de facto leader, in terms of strategy and execution. Literal execution, I suppose. While I rose to prominence among our peers as the undispu undisputed spiritual shepherd of the group, hurting all these goddamn wool beasts, fucking pain in the ass. Uh, whatever you say, undisputed spiritual shepherd. <laughs> I've also heard you're recruiting members for a militia. Another cold endeavor. Another bold endeavor. Not surprising, though. Before you embark, I do hope you'll set aside at least several sleeps to listen to some of my... Hey, Vantas. I really want to hear more of you garbage and listen to you all at with a labated breath. Bated like worms and such. Hashtag fish in. Like, I really, really miss that. You have no idea. But I have to go to... A thing. Uh, yeah. Real quick. Oh. Can you wait? Like, right here. Exactly the spot? For a few minutes? Absolutely. Really, no hurry. I'll take the time to prepare some of my opening statements to better contextualize my prohibitively loquacious harangue. I mean, friendly banter. BRB dog. Mina? <laughs> Vote now on your phones. Pfft. 
guess. <laughs> okay, yeah, you you just stay here. Let's take me. Okay, let's go check out what this heck this door is. This is gonna be here. Open door. The door is locked. It appears to be guarding someone's private memories. Looks like it needs a password. You wonder who locked it? A mysterious symbol. A clue. Bonus hint. It's Karthus. <laughs> Come on. Alright, we're gonna go in this stroll. Yo! You two! What are you two up to? Car cat! There ain't nobody around anymore! Sup! Psst! Hey Ventas! What? Now's your chance! Let's blow this nautical stand! Yeah, nautical, fatsuko, eh, close enough. Oh. I don't think I'm supposed to. Shouty, you can't let that boring nerd tell you how to roll. You want to stand here listening to his self-important abalone all day? Not really. Self-important abalone? Goddamn sea dwellers. Then come on. I guess. Let's get out of here. I don't suppose that these two have anything to say. Nah. <laughs> Run! 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 Yo. Yo. Yo, Kankri. We stole your... <laughs> yeah, it's absolutely Deltarune. We, st we stole your car cat. Don't worry about it. Okay, so I'm... Gonna see what happens. I'm gonna be Latula. And... Oh... And now we're Mina, and we're trapped. Welcome back, Gangry! We couldn't let go of Carcat for one second. I'm Game Girl, and I'm here to show you that Come on. Too. Don't go easy on me, guys, unless you want to get Come beat on. by a girl. Are you ready? Well, let's do this! <laughs> You're trapped here. Let's uh, let's talk to Carcat since we missed this dialogue option earlier. Not that this is remotely a good idea, as Kangri, but you know. One moment, please, Carcat. I'm going to wander around briefly in an fashion. I know you're very excited to continue our discussion, and I promise I'll return very shortly so that we, uh, so that we may resume. Just remain standing here in this exact spot while you take time to let the wisdom of my words take root in your heart. And try not to wander off with anybody, okay? Be right back. Hashtag BRB. Uh. Vaguely autonomous. Good? Yes. I'm a pro speedrunner. Yo. Yeah, see ya. Run! Okay, we got you. Here, help. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Cat, cat, she has the door. Then it's give me a password. Huh? This is your door, ain't it? What makes you say that? The symbol on the door is the same as the one on your fucking shirt. Come on, it ain't blast adopted by science. Chew. Okay, yeah, it's mine. Maybe I got tired of interloping shit bakes traipsing through my private and personal memories. You don't need no whisper anymore, ain't no one around. Oh. 
Now what's the password? Move over, I'll type it for you. No, just tell me, shouty. Oh my god, that is so unreasonable. How is it not pretty much the most reasonable fucking thing in the world to let me just type my own password? Dude, you want Kankery to find you and talk your nubs off again? No, anything but that. Oh dear god. It is. It's so good to see Carcat again. Alright, I'll tell you, just don't go blabbing it around. The password is fuck ass. If I hate myself so much, then why don't I hate marrying myself? What? If I hate myself so much, why don't I hate marrying myself? Bro, you gotta speak up. If I hate myself so much, then why don't I hate marry myself? What are you, deaf? <laughs> That's your password. <laughs> I'm so glad. What in God's name does that mean? Nothing. It's none of your business. It's just something that reminds me of an old friend. Alright, can we get going now? But yeah, this way, shouty. Oh, you will not regret hitching your leg into my starfish. Oh. oh man, it's interfishing time. Elevator stuck. So, shouty, or can cat was it? <laughs> Being meaning to ask you, hey, where'd he go? It's <sighs> so hard making friends. Bye, car cat. Ooh. Look, it's the meteor. Position. Five boon bucks. The self is in. <laughs> oh my god, is exactly what I said at this to. This year was after like four flippin' hours of me reading Homestuck, and it was 2 a.m. or something. And I saw this. And I was like, okay, <laughs> fine, <laughs> good, all right, this is what Homestuck is, okay. <laughs> and I read it, and I finished this page, and I went to sleep. <sighs> no, I read 5,263 pages, and I had no idea what Homestuck was. And I reached this page, and I said, Aranea, thank you for this. I now understand what Homestuck is. I peaced out, and it was great. <sighs> hey, you see where Louder Fantas went? Yes, I saw him scurry by a moment ago. He went that way into a memory of his old neighborhood. Man, what gives? Does my breath stink or do I need a fish mint? I think he just wants to be alone. He tried to lock his memories away from others, I guess without realizing these bubbles can be very permeable. If the memory is big enough, people will be able to wander into it from many directions. He probably won't be too happy to find more of our friends hanging out there. Oh shit, more of the old gang is that way? Guess I better go talk to them too. Yay, more useless tools. 
Ha 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 yes. Probably have to bail Shouty out yet again. Damn kid makes you work. That's probably why you're obsessed with him. Shut up. Circuit, what are you doing? Yeah, what is this shit? You selling something here? If so, I shouldn't warn you I'm a little low on funds these days. I am offering explanations. I will explain anything you desire. <laughs> you must be out of your seat, Sponge, if you think I'm a bar with any bit of value for a shitty speech. <laughs> oh, no! You understand. It is I who will pay you five boon bucks if you listen to an explanation on any topic of your choosing. <sighs> this is RNA setup. Oh, good grief. So what topic will it be? Hang on, I'm thinking. Can't decide on a topic. No, can't decide if it's worth listening to you even if you pay me. <sighs> now I know you're messing with me. I know you can't say no to easy money. Yeah, you're right. If I fall asleep, do I still get paid? Lay it on me. Tell me... About... Cankery Vantas. <laughs> the Seer of Blood played quite a different role on our team than that from that of his successor. Though his potential as a blood player went similarly unrealized, it was only when he grew upon Alternia did he begin to tap into his abilities, triggering recollection of our lives on before us and what we all went through. He remembered our more peaceful way of life, and his desire to unite people. As an adult, he was able to do this much e uh, much more effectively and maturely. Heroically, even. He'd learned how to inspire others, and be a true leader, even when the odds were stacked against him in his violent culture. It cost him his life, but his message lived on. I believe the Knight of Blood now carries his burden, whether he has decided to accept it or not. Many of us in Alternia grew up to become secret followers of his teachings, just as many of us now follow them, though I'd say we were although though I'd say with a bit more detachment, because we're dead. Speaking personally, I'd refer to myself as more of a fan of his story and what it represents, both the hidden potential in our friend he never quite found, and the hidden potential in all our people. During our session, Kankri's trials as a leader were just as frustrating as those of his successor. He found it very hard to get others to take him seriously, while you often would try to divide us with your troublemaking and turn us against each other m to make us stronger, unsuccessfully I might add. He would try to unite us through uh, pros proselytizing and lecture, uh, just as unsuccessfully. Wow, that sure was a bunch of stuff I already knew. Yes, and now it is fresher in your memory than ever. Thank you for listening, and here are your five boon dollars. Pleasure doing business with you. <laughs> Tell me about Latula Pyrope. The Knight of Mine, to even the most casual observer, is clearly the more radical instance of the two Pyropes. Both, of course, have disabilities, which, if discovered, would state, would slate each for calling in their respective cultures. Calling, of course, meaning something quite different on before us. It means she would have been selected by a member of a higher caste for adoption, and coddled excessively. But for someone with a lifestyle as radical as hers, I'm sure you will agree that would have been a fate worse than death. Circuit, yo, this exposition isn't straight up ridiculous, Jen, even by your standards. Would you like to make some money or not? You know me, I am all about the Boonjamins. <laughs> then please stand there quietly while I continue. Yeah. Ah, uh, fine. Fine. After the tragic accident which left her nasally impaired, her mighty dragon Lucis, ancient and wise beyond our comprehension, began to teach her new ways to smell. To reinvent the sense, using other sense organs, such as eyes and ears, awakening completely new experiences in her mind, she was truly an inspiration, and proved beyond a shadow of a doubt that any handicap can be overcome, and doesn't have to stop you from being as rad as you can truly be. <laughs> yeah! It is. What? 
Tsurka, you whistled through my blowhole with his idiotic shit. Yes, that last part was a joke. Listen up, Pyxis. Light it up, Pyxis. Yeah, well, what do we have to do to seal this deal here? Seal, you know, the marine bark beast. Well... Just tell me the bare minimum of what I need to hear to snag my boonies and run. Okay, even though Latula has been dating Matuna for steadily for eons, it's hardly a secret to anyone that she and Kankri have had complicated, unrequited feelings for even longer. So really, much like their descendants. And we're done. Here you go. Second score. Ta-da. Tell me about poor Mariam. The mate of space was, of course, our all-important space player and stoker of the forge. But as you know, we never made much progress on the frog breeding front, or really any aspect of the game before the reckoning. Uh, way too disorganized, way too much teen drama. Much of that drama, of course, centered around Kankri, and Porm tended to be the one to keep him out of trouble. This relationship persisted in their lives on Alternia, which unfortunately didn't work out too well for her in the end. I'd address my involvement with that, but you seem to be tapping your foot, so I think I'll just skip over that part of the story. On before us, well before her drinker abilities had awakened, she grew up in the cast almost solely devoted to tending to the mother grub, hatching the young and proliferating the brood. The Jade Bloods were also an ex almost exclusively female cast, and she began to resent the role she was hatched into, designated for both her class and gender. She challenged these roles wherever they existed in before in society, as well as where she found them woven into our sessions, in kingdoms, uh, in class assignments, consort culture, and the like. But over the sweeps in our failed session, she found within herself a renewed interest in the duty that came with her bloodline, which was of course the persistence of our people, a burden which her descendant now must bear. All life on before us had been wiped out and we'd failed our game, so she helped me search for a way to reset the... I was almost finished. You're just telling me shit I know, Zerk. She was sorta of my friend too, remember? Can you spice this jam up? I don't... Didn't you, like, sleep with anybody? <laughs> Give me all the dirt on that! What? No, Mina. I am not paying you so that you can listen to me indulge in such scandalous gossip. Now, what was I talking about? Gosh, I've lost my train of thought. <laughs> Why are you blushing, girl? Oh my god, you and she <laughs> noodled of intense curiosity. Uh, oh man, why didn't you ever tell me? I thought we was friends. Look, three sweeps is a long time to spend in a failed, pointless session. You look into the future and see a life lasting for maybe thousands of sleeps, with nothing to look forward to and... And... It was just kind of a phase. Just a little red fling, okay? It barely even lasted half a sweep and... Hey, if I give you ten boon bucks, can we stop talking about this? Make it a cool hundred and you got a deal. Oh, fine. Just take it. Her imperious condescension thanks you for your generous contribution to the new empire. I'm glad you're a good guy this time. You really were hashed to be such a bitch. <laughs> yeah. Peace out. <laughs> See ya, Circuit. This leads to the end of the game. Are you sure you're done here? Vote now on your phones. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Three hours? Something like that? I mean, yeah, there was BRB time, so it was probably only two hours. But still, like, yeah. Okay. We're right done here. <laughs> yes. That's the end. Continue playing on the next page. <sighs> the 
beautiful. Hmm. Dang, this makes me realize just how bad my crop offset is. <sighs> you are so not actually rambly at all. You are, like, literally right here. I'm, I'm talking to you. Okay, uh, yeah, my preview of this says that this is beautifully cropped, but when I actually look at it, it's horrible. So I need to, like, flip and fix this and make my... Look, it's like all white bordery. Yeah. Dang, I never even realized. Yeah. I'm gonna fix it. Okay, uh, like this. Like this. What the heck? Oh, wait, that's bottom pixels for goodness sake. I am not very smart at computers. There we are. Alright, and bottom pixels. I know! They are, aren't they? I think this is right? Is this good? No, there's one in line. Okay. 40. Okay. Let me just make sure the top is all good. 97 should have a border. It does. <laughs> oh, it looks bad. It's missing one pixel. There! It's beautiful! Yeah, and so ends the flippin' intermission, but not Act 6 Intermission 3! There is so much more Act 6 Intermission. Aww, thanks! You! Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, anyway. This has been Gay. I mean, Latula. I mean, Toby Fox. I mean, Act 6 Intermission 3. Page 1. Moving along.